high. And when we create a Simulink model, sometimes we use components from different libraries. Um, now the question is how can we connect these components together? Or how can we connect a signal from one section uh, to another section? To demonstrate this, I have a very simple example here. So in the top section, you can see uh, this is an H bridge. Now the components of this H bridge, I took it from Simulink library. So these are the gate pulses. So inside this, we have four switches, basically. These are the input, these are the output, and these are the gate pulses. The gate pulses coming from these two uh, pulse signals. This is the input, which is a DC source, and we have the output. Now in the lower section, I have um, a full bridge rectifier and the components of these full bridge rectifiers I took them from Simscape library so these are physical components uh, as you can see they are colorful and uh, they are from Simscape library um, here I have a voltage source this full bridge rectifier and then we have the capacitor and this is the load now if I run this model we can analyze the circuit first we see that, for example, for this full bridge rectifier, the voltage increases and eventually we get a DC voltage with some ripple. The magnitude of DC voltage is near to 100 volts because the peak voltage of this AC source is 100 volts. And um, the magnitude there is actually also near near to 100 volts. The reason that is not exactly 100 volts because we have some um, turn on resistance for these diodes. But anyway, this is the signal for this uh, lower section full bridge rectifier and then if you look at the signal for that H bridge we see that uh, when the two top switches when the not top switches when these two are turned on basically we have the full voltage uh, positive side and then when the other one are turned on we have the negative voltage and because we have some um, dead time so there is a, a little bit of time which every all the switches are off okay now the problem is, here I have a DC source, uh, what I want is that I want the output of this uh, full bridge rectifier actually feed this uh, H bridge. In, in fact, I want to replace, I want to remove this one and connect these two at the terminal of these two um, full bridge rectifier. But obviously I cannot directly connect these two together. So let me I create a wire first. Um, so in order to create a wire, I first create a component connect it to here then I delete this now I have a wire and you can see if I want to connect it to here you cannot connect it. so what I do is that first I search for a voltage source so here I have voltage source if I search for this there are many different voltage sources one of them which is from Simulink library is controlled voltage source now I take this one here so I actually want to replace this DC source with this control voltage source Okay, and this one comes here, that's good. Now this control voltage sort need a signal. So I have to get the signal um, from, from this measurement. So, so this measurement, I, will, I want to give it to here. But of course, still I cannot connect it directly to, to this measurement system. Uh, in this case, I have to use a, a physical system to Simulink converter. So basically what I have to search is PS Simulink. So physical system to Simulink converter. So we need this converter. Let me I rotate it. And another time. Okay, so now I have this converter here, which I can basically connect it to this one. And then this one, you should not connect it to here, for example, the voltage that is here, but we should connect to this voltage measurement. So in this case, what happens is actually, uh, whatever voltage that value that we have here, we measured here from this physical system, it will come to this as a signal and this produce the same amount of voltage across uh, this H bridge. Now if I run this simulation, you can see that for the lower section, obviously we get the same signal as before, but for the top section, this time at beginning the voltage is increasing and eventually when it reaches to the steady state, these sections are actually uh, the signal that we have here from the rectifier um, which is now connected to the input of the H bridge. So this is an example how to connect different uh, models from, uh, from different libraries together. Bye!